So the next project that we've got on the go, it, this is not going to be a rental property. This is going to be a flip. Now, I don't really want to even call this a flip because this is a heritage home. So a it's, restoration. It's, it's 160 years old, this property. And uh, yeah, it really needs to be restored and we want to do an addition on it. But I mean, there's a lot of things that have been if uh, permitted. modified. It, like the, the, the brick was repointed, but it was repointed improperly. So uh, I want to repoint the brick properly with a lawn mortar. So we've got to chip off all of that throughout the entire house and uh, repoint the entire stone exterior. Guess who's doing that? <laughs> I think it's you. <laughs> do, you do you know how to use a chisel, Amanda? There's, there's all kinds of things that need to be restored on this property. Um, it we, truly is like a diamond in the rough, a little hidden gem. Right now it's a little bit ratty. It certainly needs a lot of love and attention. So that used to be a big window. Either, oh. Ah, don't smash that. <laughs> I, I think they just plywooded over it and then parged over the plywood. Oh. So that's actually a lot easier to fix. So maybe we can actually just pop another window back in there. But we can both just really envision restoring this house and and really highlighting its its ancient beauty. Like this house is old. We close on this property in a month. And less than now. We have to secure some partners, some investment partners on this project. We're, we like to do all the work, but we need uh, some people to back us because we're going to be putting at least 150, if not $200,000 into this renovation yeah. to restore this property back to its uh, original luster. And also we need to, luster? We need to uh, underpin the foundation because we've got no headroom in the basement. The way I can envision it is we're going to take on this massive renovation, underpin the basement, do a second story addition if permitted completely restore the natural uh, old beauty in this home, but also bring it up to a luxurious modern day property. Look at this gourmet kitchen. I can, I can envision cooking in this kitchen. We need to source some investors to come in on this deal with us uh, to help us fund the renovation and, you know, hopefully turn a profit on this property. I, I think we're going to do really well on this property yes. because um, the price the property was listed for $399. This is a crazy market. $399. Uh, we ended up getting it for $370 in a bid war. Yeah. I don't know how this happened. I don't but know I know that there's some headroom issues in the basement. A lot of people yeah. don't like dealing with headroom because it means you're gonna be underpinning the foundation. Anyway, this is my head. Yeah. That's pretty much touching. So I'm five. Don't lie. I'll say five, nine and a half. <laughs> So I think that might be the reason why we were able to get it for 30 grand under list in a bid war. Some of the comparable houses on that same street, they're about a block away, but on the same street, we're selling for five and a quarter, some even in the sixes. And Over we got it for six. 370. Yeah. So there's quite a large profit margin. We've seen another comparable that had the extension added to a very similar type property, sold for eight and a quarter. Like, yeah, that's and huge. Not to mention, those properties had very small lots. We have a huge, huge lot. lot. Those properties that we're speaking of, they were on corners, corner lots with yeah. no space at all. And this property, we've just got huge potential. It's like nothing we've ever renovated before. This is going to be a great opportunity for Marty to really showcase his skills and just show off, you know, some high end carpentry, some excellent clean finishes, and to challenge us both with some design skills. Like usually we're designing yeah. a property to be a rental property, not like a high-end um, family home. So we need to secure some investors mm -hmm. to not just uh, help us fund the finance of the property, but also help fund the renovation. Um, and we've actually spoken to, oh, zero, zero investors at this point. We've got less than a month We've worked with Scott on one project in the past. Yes. And so we were really hoping to sort of get his attention with this one because we got a good price on it. And he said he loved working with us yeah. and that if we impressed him enough, he would do another deal with us. So yeah. here it is, Scott, if you're listening, Marty is gonna take the reins. He's absolutely gonna lead this job site. And what we're looking for is for Scott to come in, partner with us on this deal, fund the renovation, and we could potentially divide some great profits. If we don't hear back from Scott, then we've got to 
hustle and get these other investors on board. We have some yeah. contacts that we're prepared to go to, but we didn't want to go to them first. We wanted yeah. to go to Scott first. And we're kind of running out of time now. Yeah, we're out of time. So. We can't wait any longer. We need to know this week if Scott is in or out um, to do this deal with us. Otherwise, I'm going to need to really bust my ass and find some other investors to come in um, and complete this project with us. I need to get a hold of an engineer, an architect. I got to reach out to my main carpenters that I work with. Yeah. I got to reach out to my electrician. I'm gonna have to talk to the Heritage City Planner. There's one planner, so that actually makes my life a little easier. There's only one guy to talk to about heritage planning. Up we go. Um, and I have to somehow coordinate all of this while you deal with the financing aspect of it. Um, we've got less than a month. I've got a lot of work to do, and I don't even know who's on board with this. So, I don't know, I have no plan for this property at this point. I have mental <laughs> plans, but I don't have an actual blueprint. Yeah. So first I got to deal with the city planner, make sure I can, I, I need to find out what I can actually do with this property. Then I got to go to an architect yeah. and an engineer, make up a plan, then bring that plan back to the city planner to make sure that he's okay with what my architect comes up with. Then I've got to book all my trades and have everybody lined up to do this at the exact same time while you get all of the investors on board with this project and everything will just come to a perfect peak. All of this is going to happen while we're running our property management company for our own properties, all of our partners' properties, and all of the additional properties that we manage for other investors. And while I continue to run our household full-time and I work full-time, um, at my job as well. <laughs> oh yeah, plus it's summer. Oh yeah, we're taking every weekend off. <laughs> that was the plan. I'm feeling like I might not get that many weekends off. I have a summer. lot of plans uh, to be working on my tan and being at the beach. So, you know, the way I envision this summer going is busting our butts all week long and just hustling like mad, wake up early, go to bed late during the week, and then every single weekend be able to just relax, enjoy, rejuvenate, and then just hit every Monday really, really hard. You know what the thing is? I'm not even worried. Are you worried? Really? You worried? No.